Yeah, so this is interesting. Kanta's never made a top eight before, which is interesting because I feel like this is a name I see all the time in SA. So there's a lot on the line for Kanta. This is a match that you definitely want to win. But right now, you find yourself off stage against Katars. Kant opts to go for the sider instead of going for another uh, downer, perhaps another ground pound or anything. Um, yeah, game's even, just opened up. Yeah, you, you like to see this from Cant uh, for sure, letting the uh, Asuri, you, you play Asuri for the guitars in my opinion, so I definitely like to see like immediately willing to go off stage, uh, playing very aggressively, very smothering of Reaper as Reaper struggling to find a weapon here. He's going to pick up some gauntlets and try to fight fire with fire, so to speak, but it's looking real tough right now. Cant is taking over this match. Oof. Reaper is going to be eating that side, he gets knocked off stage, goes through the weapon toss, does make it back on, Cant just prioritizing going through the sword instead. Now they have sword on hand, D light recovery, not enough to take it off the top quite yet though, but the second one will be able to do so successfully. Yeah, good stuff uh, from Cant, pulling out uh, the early lead there. Kind of the uh, traditional game plan of Katars is to allow the Katars to build the damage sword to KO, but there we see a very early uh, gim from Kan who gets the Nair uh, to send downwards and Reaper is unable to make it back. Stock trades, but now you're up two socks to one as Kan, so definitely happy to do so. Huge. Yeah, absolutely massive. That's an excellent way to be able to open off here. And now Kant has a lead. Gets the recovery. Backs down onto the ground. Slowing down for a second. Dash jump neutrally. Not going to connect on anybody quite yet. Sidelight just shoving Reaper off to the side of the stage. Playing it nice and patient. And Kant has just been outspacing him for a while. That being said, double D-Light sider. Classic. Yeah, nice recovery there to extend the uh, advantage state. The downer clanks with an air. And all things considered, Reaper has a chance to bring this one back. But Kant... He's going to prove that he does not get the forward air, or side there there, sorry, gets the weapon toss as well, and that should be it. Oh, actually gives the chase dodge, but it doesn't matter. Can't realizing that you can't make it back there, no yep. pun intended, and then it was over. That was really good play on Kant's behalf. Right, which was just having the situational awareness in the moment. There's a couple of things that you have to check. First of all, hey, I have a stock lead. I can SD here. That's huge. That is a very important realization that you need to make in that moment. That you can get away with doing something like that. And then afterwards, Kant was like, oh, yeah, wait a second. I don't want him to hit me and then chase dodge back onto the stage. I'm surprised that Reaper wasn't able to chase dodge back onto the stage with the first one. Try to go for the second hit. But the fact that Kant just faded out, drifted out, and got himself to safety has stopped Reaper from coming back onto the stage. That was just a good play. Yeah, exactly. And on, all, all off the back of that really early Qatar game that allowed him to kind of have that extra, extra stock to play with and already oh kind of not gosh. letting up the breaks there, chasing very high, getting the Nair after the recovery. Scary spot to be in. We get a bit of um, a crossover swap to Reaper who picks over the Aang, but it looks to be more of the same like the Chun-Li, just really getting smothered by Kant, who is holding forward at Reaper. Actually trades with the weapon toss, goes for the exhausted recovery, gets quite a bit of damage for that. Reaper now with some offense on the spear. We need to see the spear work out a little bit more, creating some space, because it feels like Kant just is ignoring uh, the spear right now. Yeah, Kant is not all that pressured by the dish joints, right? Uh, at the moment, though, looking for that slide off D-Light. Gets the recovery. Once again, not enough to be able to KO him. GC D-Light not connecting. Neither was the neutral. And like just to push Kant off stage for just a moment in time. Neutral comes out successfully. Reaper is committing to a ground pound. And now you are gauntlets trying to get back onto stage against Soil. Big mistake. That's tough. Yeah, putting yourself in, in these really tough situations, just trying to get, you know, try to flip it quickly is uh, definitely a choice, but I feel like Kan is playing uh, pretty solidly so far, not really giving any mistakes to uh, oh. Reaper. As I see that though, almost getting hit with the exhaustion recovery, gets hit with the side air, but gets scooped up by Kant's recovery himself and closes out that stock. That got a little scary though, signs of life from Reaper for sure. Kant picking up the sword once again. Reaper is going to be denied of a weapon, and this is where Kant seems to be the most comfortable. That is where he sword wants to be, on the stage and the opponent off the stage. Recovery is still not enough to do it. I can't believe the recovery didn't hit Kant a little too far away. That time around, side light recovery does come out, and it does successfully uh, KO. Yeah, much closer game than the last one, of course. We'll see if Kant can pull away similarly like the last game, but... We definitely won't be seeing some uh, stock trade shenanigans as both of them are on their second Ooh. stock here. Nice little open up from Reaper there, getting the side light, no recovery, but still keeping the pressure going, covering the dodge in place with the down air and a neutral six nice and can it. really far go. Oh, misses the side air. If you hit the side air, that's a KO. Instead, can't that giving another side air didn't hit. That didn't connect. It doesn't matter. Can't able to find the down air. Reaper is still able to make it back onto the stage somehow. I 
I don't know if anybody else saw that Katari Saido, but I saw Gauntlet Saido connect and said, I was like, what just happened? That was crazy. Absolute ridiculous play from both players as a lot of crazy stuff happens off stage, and that's just kind of the nature of the matchup. When the Katars and the Gauntlets are online, it feels like anything can happen, but yeah, that side air not hitting on the Katars is a big deal. Can't though, side light, down light into side air, looking to tap in this final last hit, gets the down air there, nice. and can with the stop. Yeah, this game seems to be defined by the edge guard eating, and it seems to be defined by the offstage gameplay and the fact that Kent has been consistently not allowing uh, Leapley to get back on. I want to see if this dynamic changes at all, but right now, I still feel like Kent has a lot of momentum. Yeah, and, and utilizing the soft platforms a lot better as well. I, I feel like the stage pick not working for Reaper as well, but it is uh, definitely doable here. You just need to hit a down light or really any of the combo starters that Gauntlet has. The end light sends Kent off stage, not enough to disarm, but still a good spot for this edge guard. Just gives the respect, doesn't want to take too much extra credit. Triple exclamation points, but Kent finds some reprieve on the soft platform. Not for much longer though, as the end light connects and yeah, Reaper just really struggling to find this KO. That's three Nairs you're eating from the guitars. That's a fourth one there. Okay, can't look at, to find a way to be able oh. to make it back on. The recovery yeah. comes out as well as the weapon toss landing with a ground pound. GT and light not going to be able to connect, but once again, can't is in such a good oh. position. Reaper comes back onto the stage with the recovery, evens up the stock count, but you have so much damage that you need to make up now. Big Nair there from Kant, who's able to give himself enough space to pull some guitars now. And Light into the recovery, reads the dodge up, covers it perfectly. JV2 for Kant, who is playing absolutely on fire right now. Never top aided before, but looks to do so here uh, with a lot of momentum. Yeah, Kent's playing really good. Kent's yeah. playing really good. The edge guarding, fantastic, neutral. Um, and I'm also really liking a lot of Kent's patient disadvantage options. Kent feels very unpredictable sometimes, especially when it comes to landing. We're seeing ground pounds, we're seeing GCN lights, GCD lights, and then also playing very floaty and slow. I think Kent is doing a good job of playing slow and mixing up timing. A lot of neutral interactions in Brawlhalla are defined by like the you know, footsies in this game are a little bit strange. I think the truest sense of footsies that this game has is either when two people are stacked on top of each other or they're at mid-range and they're just sort of walking back and forth. I think Kant has done a very good job of making his timing unpredictable. No, absolutely. He'd go for like a dash jump neutral and he mm -hmm. would whiff it, but the opponent was just not ready for it. Yeah, it's, it's really important, uh, I think, in, in games like Brawlhalla specifically that, uh, you know, are a platform fighter, but have very, like, 2D fighter-esque situations, especially stacked in and scramble. Like, that timing and not not pulling the trigger on options One in the first beat draw. possible is super important. Um, what we will be seeing, though, is Reaper swapping over to the Rayman here. Uh, we'll see how this one plays out as Kant is going to stick onto the Ahsoka. And, yeah, so the, you're, you know, forfeiting your sword for an axe, but I feel like it gets a little scary uh, ed getting edge guarded by Katars as axe. We'll see how that plays out here. It can be definitely really scary, and we're beginning to see some of that now. Reaper taking quite a bit of damage. Can't just opting to go through the sword. Hey, still tough to get back onto stage as axe uh, up against sword. I have the lived experience to say so. Yeah, and I've been on the sword end, and I love it. I mean, it's it's awesome to be uh, able to I'm just so sick very you guys. safely hit axe all the time and continuously rent and repeat these very strong and oppressive corner situations. And Kent looks to do the same here with a down light side air. Reaper able to cross up through and get a side air of his own now. And the That's DC right. And light of KO, there it is. We're so back, baby. Axe and light is so back. I can't believe... Is this the first time I'm seeing axe today? Question mark? Because we, we got to do a little bit of E, which I feel like I've never gotten to say before. At the moment, and light recovery does come out. Not enough to KO Rayman, who has quite a few more defense than you think he does. Yeah, a little tanky for sure. Nice down air there. And Kant getting caught Ooh. by the down stick. The ground pound follows up as well. Another down stick comes out. Kant throwing the weapon nice. off to give some space versus Reaper. But Reaper picking up the axe and the down sig to close out that stock. And Reaper with the Rayman switch is working out very, very well. Incredibly well. And right now just oppressing the Kant off stage. That seems to be Leapley's win condition at the moment. And, that, you know, it's axe. Big, strong hitboxes. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Leapley went all the way with it. I'm surprised that he committed to it that hard. Yeah, I, I mean, that's just one of, that's like the super, the brain destroyer, if you will. Like, charging up the down sig on stage, just completely drifting, disrespecting your opponent's options. And, I mean, overall, I feel like now this is kind of Reaper's game to lose. You just have to write this momentum you build. You're up two slots to one, but you never can count out. Oh, boy. He put you in the Vitamix. 
My goodness, Weepu a little liquefied at the moment. Ega down, who can't try to catch the cross up with the pivot end light. Doesn't actually connect as Weepu just simply dodges up and away. Weepu looking to land cube with a couple of downers. Oh boy. And the side stick comes out there. Not uh, any connection. Another side air attempt from Cat there. Reaper going for the down stick gets punished by the Cat. Um, ground pound on the guitars, and now Cat has a chance to steal this game back. I love that commitment from Kent, just holding it all the way. Kent might be able to make this comeback. Weepu, how do you close? Kent is denying this weapon. Ooh. Looking to catch that jump, but the recovery comes out. Not enough to take it. Nice side light there, gets the half pipe, put your helmet on. Reaper makes it out of there, but gets caught by another Qatar recovery. And right now, Reaper struggling to find any sort of safety on the ground and air into the GCN light. True confirm. Axe in hand, looking for that down thing, looking for that side air, but can't just disrespecting the options. Huge end light putting you so deep off stage. Can't, gonna be nice and patient, always so afraid of that Raymond. X D sig, another end light comes out. God bless Raymond, God bless X. Just as intended, the end light is able to go ahead and KO successfully off the side. Uh, X still, X has still got it, baby. We're so back very very clean from a uh, reaper of course able to swap off the rayman and find immediate um success we'll see how this one plays out though as we uh see some adaptation from cat potentially a, a change of scenery maybe well, Ice axe is tough it's tough with guitars uh i think that happened like like whatever like can't got something going and we like oh yes advantage state excellent but uh you can't really approach really casually with like side lights or, or down in that matchup you know x punishes that Definitely, for sure, and we'll Three, see how two, um, this one, scenery change will work out here as uh, we get to Fortress of Lions. Um, but I, what I like about this set is we're seeing a lot of soft platforms. A lot of players like to uh, strike out the stages, but South America liking some soft platforms. Um, definitely going to help out Kent, who I feel like found a lot of success juggling, and we'll see some more of that here. Um, or just some corner carry as we get a side air to send um, Reaper already into the corner. Okay. Reaper just gonna be opting to go through the gauntlets. Reaper is not letting Kant play slow. Kant is playing back, trying to play back a little bit, and Reaper is the one that is initiating and aggroing because, I mean, honestly, when you do give Kant that kind of space, Kant played neutral exceptionally well. And I think Reaper Black is doing an excellent job adapting. Yes, a little bit more airborne. Beautiful. Ooh, nice pick up there. D-Light into the recovery to close out that stock. Picking up the sword, looking to cycle down to a Katars here, but a very big lead for Ken. And it might just be the fact that this soft platform is quite small and very high. So, uh, where, you know, Ken is able to just shark it forever, Reaper really isn't able to use it for safety all that much. Ken is playing like an animal right now with the Katars, yeah. right? Like, Reaper was running away. Just like, please give me a weapon. I have no weapon in hand. And Ken just kept going in and in and in. And that was crazy. Okay, weapon toss into the downlight recovery. Some nice damage there, getting the Nair as well. Reaper punishing Can, going for that exhausted recovery for some extra damage. Nice pickup with the Nair into GCN light. Using the recovery to position high forces Can low, but Can actually crosses through Reaper. Reaper expecting Can to jump away from the wall. And Can all of a sudden in a very solid spot to dash back and forth. No read there. Downer, Saito as well coming on out. Reaper gonna be ex What? That touched? Mods? Can we, uh, developers? Can we... Guess it doesn't matter, though. You, know, you got one more chance, but it just... Can was able to tap in that one. That was... That was crazy still, though. PJ, I'm gonna defer to you. Is that okay? That we can touch the side of the stage? Uh, Is that okay? No, but I just chalk it up to Axe. You know? It's definitely Axe's fault for that. He was unarmed, but I don't That's care. That's right. <laughs> Thank you for, for, you know, telling us the truth. At the moment, looking for the recovery. We were able to get the D light though. Not enough to be able to KO off the top. X D light has it so tough. X D light should KO a lot sooner. We still stuck a little bit off stage. Can't going out though. The end light comes out, but across the stage, it is not enough to KO. Dodging. Oh my. I thought Cam was going to go for the ground pound. As I say that, going for the ground pound there. You know, every sword player, we just have that, uh, you know, little devil on our shoulder telling us to ground pound off stage. Um, can't go for the ground pound, gets punished accordingly. But you're up two stocks to one. You're one game away from your first ever top eight here at a trial. And uh, it's definitely looking good for Kant so far, but Reaper chasing high with the recovery there. Didn't find a connection. Looking to bring this one back. Looking to force a game five, but Kant on the sword cannot be denied right now. You're being so patient getting back onto the stage. Kant is trying to slow it down, tosses out the weapon, Katari's on hand, and Axe off stage. How does this end? 
There we go. That's the end light. Then is it a unable to find a follow up because you slide off the stage, but nothing too crazy as the down light connects. Looking for the recovery there. The down light into Nair. Goes for the ground pound afterwards. Can't dodge through. And Reaper throws his weapon away in an attempt to give himself some space. Now is getting weapon starved. Goes for the GC down light as a way to tap in the KO. Didn't find it. The Cider sends Reaper off stage. Catches a jump in the process. Can't just needs to tap it in. And he does. DC down light into the ground pound unarmed. And Kant takes the set for you. Wow. Kant is playing like a top, top player. Yeah. Right? That was that was that was a dominant set. Kent played amazing. That means that Leap Leap Black is now officially eliminated from the tournament, eliminated from the trial, just shy of top eight, which would have been nice to have a second.